Hello and welcome. My name is Dharamkar Sadnam. This is the full moon reading for August using the Tarot of St. Petersburg deck for the sign of Aries. Mars, Venus, those energies, those assertive red energies, the base chakra, Lindus, those energies of spice, the peppers that season our lives all over the world, Aries, Yaks, the plane, the arms, the hands. Right. Make it so. base of the deck we have nine of clubs. Nine of clubs, nine is a number of power, it's a number of energy, it compels, it is the culmination of energies. Nine of clubs Expectation of difficulties and changes. Anticipation. Hidden enemies. Deception. Discipline. Order. A pause in a current struggle. So, this is a card of alertness and vigilance. Those are action words that Aries can totally feel akin to. So, where are you now? What is your present situation? Ten of Cups. You are happy. You have fulfillment already emotionally. Your life is very, very good. Your situation is good. You're feeling good coming out of Leo. The fire sign of Leo has brought your fires up. But this Ten of Cups, it has children in the background playing. It has a couple looking at the cups, looking at the rainbow of opportunity. How grounded is this wonderful, wonderful time for you? Let's hope it stays that way. So, Ten of Cups, the brimming of emotion and romance and passion. So, all things that Aries love home, joy, pleasure, peace, love, contentment, good family, honor, esteem, and virtue. So, whatever you've been doing, you've been doing it right, these cards say. Oh, look what crosses you. The nine of coins. My goodness. So, abundance. Abundance is occurring, will occur more, you, you have nature in her fecundity with her, uh, her fecundity with her tree, with her, her woodland, with her plants all over the world, and her coins. Now, the nine of coins.
you'd think after 20 years with this deck, right? Okay, nine of coins. Accomplishment. Discernment. Discretion. Foresight. Prudence. Material well-being. Love of nature. So, I would say, if you have the ability, if you have the prosperity to do so, go. Be among nature. Take your shoes off. Enjoy the grass. Stretch in the air. Breathe in the air. Definitely. Definitely. And this will help your abundance. This will help your feelings of prosperity. If you, if you for some reason can't get away, get plants. Put them around you. Have a respond to what a beautiful sights, beautiful photos of nature, beautiful ferns is what I'm seeing, beautiful redwoods. So, um, now the accomplishment and your discernment, your discretion your foresight and your prudence. This could very well mean that you should put away some for a rainy day. Certainly give to those charities that you believe will in time uh, be there for you. Um, also uh, in, in response to your giving uh, that they will um, Certainly you should plan for the future in your time of abundance. However, uh, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't enjoy yourself. So enjoy that cruise, enjoy that yoga retreat, enjoy those times. If you get a chance to travel, if someone has been asking you to take a trip, this is the time. So. Let's see, above you, what is on your mind? Oh my goodness, the falling tower. So, in these three cards, your first two, you seem to have gotten two of my favorite cards, prosperity, love, abundance, all good things. And then, but on your mind is the falling tower. So, what could possibly be happening? Your passions are inflamed at this time. Let's see. Pent up energies. The pent up energy of fire, which is combustion. So. The imperial crown falls from the tower along with gold coins, crosses, and other religious objects, and a man and a woman symbolizing the fall of the Russian Empire in 1917. So, <clears throat> complete and sudden change, a breakdown of old beliefs, abandonment of past relationships, a severing of a friendship, changing one's opinion, unexpected events, my goodness, bankruptcy, downfall, loss of stability, and loss of security. It is important to realize that this card comes in the head space area at the, at the, the worry spot. So, these are mental things that you are projecting. You, being the strong, assertive Aries that you are, can pull yourself from these projections and realize that by giving up your old beliefs, you're not necessarily sacrificing your way of life, your way of income, 
your uh, um, reality in the material world. At this moment, if you're suddenly leaving old beliefs behind and adopting more and more new ones, then I would say that this is a positive step on your transformation. This is part of your story. Realize that this is in your head and that part of transformation is facing those demons. So, let's see. In your recent past, we have the Four of Coins here. And this, I know to be a place of lack. So, even if you were not feeling especially tight monetarily, the Four of Coins is concerning himself with getting these coins from the treasure box. Four of Coins is a love of material wealth, a hoarder, a new sir, uh, that's a money lender who makes enormous profits, and boy, don't we know about those these days. Skinflint, and an inability to share. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So, you may, in the recent past, <coughs> have either come upon someone who has these tendencies, or you yourself have been afraid to share because of um, perhaps a place of fear. However, I would say that in this context the falling tower makes sense. You may be waking up to the idea that when you share, you receive only more. Or you can share in such a way <coughs> that you yourself create a cycle of abundance uh, for all parties, which is mutually beneficial. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, in your distant past, I see for you, Aries, the devil. In this deck, the devil has a very unusual definition. And at some point in these readings, month after month, I will probably stop reading the full description of the card. However, at this point, let me read this. The devil's face resembles Joseph Stalin, who ruled the USSR for 30 years. His powerful body symbolizes the intensity of his power. Tattoos represent his powers criminal nature and bat wings symbolize its extent. The martial star above him is the symbol of his victories. The horns show the devilish cunning with which he holds his winnings. The two eyes on which his chest are the vigilance of the secret police. The devil's chains trap a man and a woman deprived of their civil rights. Now, the meaning here, ravage, bondage, malevolence, subservience, downfall, a weird experience, bad outside influence or advice, black magic, unexpected failure, inability to realize goals, violent shock, fatality, self-punishment, a temptation to evil, self-destruction. Ah. Mm. Well, you know, at a, at a point in the distant past, this may have been around you, this may have been you, but then, then it became a matter of getting money, needing money, finding money, changing. Then it became a matter of changing beliefs, total change, transformation. Then it became a matter of the Nine of Coins. All abundance, all abundance is at your doorstep right now, at this time. 
it can lead you to who you are really inside right now, wanting the things that money cannot buy, having the things that money cannot buy. And now, looking at the future, we have the Seven of Cups. This is a wonderful card. It is the variety is the spice of life card. So, let's see. This man has all these cups, and all these cups are have so many exotic creatures and magic spells and and jewels, and we even have the head of John the Baptist and an entire Eastern Orthodox cathedral. This man has found a lot of cups. So, in the place of six, it is the sphere of influence that is coming into being. You will have many choices in the very near future, Aries. Looks like you will have many choices. Now, fantasy, imagination, daydreams, foolish whims, wishful thinking, and illusionary success. So, congratulations, I would say that if you are getting into processes of affirmation, of intention, uh, any sort of uh, visualization techniques, meditation, this is a very good card because you will have success in all of those areas. You will feel your intuition shoot up and it will be a wonderful thing. <clears throat> In the seven spot, you have justice. This is how others are affecting you, your environment right now. External influences. We have justice. And she is a very dignified Saritza. So. is also signifying your present position, your circumstances, your environment. Justice is a wonderful car. Truly. Justice holds scales and the sword of retribution. The arch symbolizes the celestial sphere. Reasonableness, justice, proper balance, harmony, equity, righteousness, virtue, honor, virginity, just reward. The eventual outcome, whether favorable or unfavorable, will be truly fair to the person concerned. Equilibrium, poise, impartiality. So. Um, your Ten of Cups, your Nine of Coins, you earn these. Enjoy them. Enjoy the family. Enjoy the childlike, getting to know your inner child, being childlike. And enjoy the abundance. Enjoy the natural feeling of wonder when we get to know our inner child and share good times with someone else. Um, so that is your environment. Ten of Coins. Oh, this is the most wonderful, wonderful heart-centered reading for you. Look at that. How much money is coming to you? You are worried. You, you have been worried. Very worried. Perhaps you started a business and you've been concerned about money lately. You've been so worried about it. But there is no reason to be worried whatsoever because you have the Ten of Coins. You have family. You have um, inheritance. You have uh, backing. 
uh, from the universe at this time. Uh, you have a spiritual inheritance because justice is on your side, Mars. Yes, Aries, Aries, who is ruled by Mars, who is guided by Mars. This is a crafty, positive warrior who uses positive visualization and just ways of getting what he wants to bring in abundance for his loved ones and himself. So forgive all the hisses. <laughs> <laughs> if you are a um, feminine person, then apply hers, by all means. So, Ten of Coins, Riches, Safety, Family Matters, Ancestry, Inheritance, and Home. So, oh. Love it, love it if you've been planning to buy a home somewhere, if you're looking to send away that DNA report, test thing, if you are thinking about setting up a legacy perhaps for your children or loved ones, this is a wonderful, wonderful time coming into action, coming into being for you. These are all things which I see also in the sign of Leo and then transitioning to the sign of Virgo in service. Leo is the gift giver, is the magnanimous king or queen who showers their loved ones with love um, and possessions. And uh, it, we are entering the time of Virgo, which is about service. <coughs> it's about medicine. It's about healing, and it's about taking care of oneself uh, in a physical sense. So, uh, this is a very, very positive card. And it is in the realm of environmental factors. So, it is your influence on other people and your position in life tendencies and factors that exist with respect to other persons who may have an effect on you. I would say that if you were looking for a small business loan or to start a business, or especially uh, if you were going to do so and incorporate family members, this is an ideal time and that it should reap very good prosperity for you. Um, in, it is ten of coins and the Ten of Coins in this deck is Riches, Safety, Family Matters, Ancestry, Inheritance, and Home. Fantastic. Love that. So, onward with the Empress. Ha! Ah, the Empress. Amazing. So, in the ninth spot of the Inner Emotions, your hidden emotions, your secret desires, your fears and anxieties of the questioner, uh, also your thoughts that will come to your mind in the future. The shield supported by the Empress shows the double-headed eagle, symbol of the Russian Empire, and also symbol of the Byzantine Empire. In fact, double-headed eagles are in quite a few cultures. However, in this case, it means feminine progress, fruitfulness, accomplishment, mother, sister, wife, marriage, children, feminine influence, ability to motivate others. So, I would say that is incredible Shakti, Goddess, Selena, Hecate, uh, Diana, Card. Uh, and it is in your inner emotions, so get in touch with your inner nurturer, male or female, get in touch with that nurturer, get in touch with that, that visionary on this, this full moon, and this time after this full moon, uh, for the next several days, just 
uh, get in touch with your intuition. Your your intuition is here, uh, and in full form, in a feminine form. So the culmination and outcome of all events is the Four of Clubs. Uh, I'm so happy for you! The Four of Clubs is a woman and a man, and they are standing by a rainbow, by a dacha, their dacha, and they are holding hands, and he has a wreath, and they are content. They are happy together. Um, they are standing in their love, their innocent, innocent love. Um, this is, is not the lovers, this is the, the home. Uh, four is, is a, a square number. It is, it is sol solidity. And it is building stones or cornerstones. <clears throat> laying the the uh, foundation stone for all the good things in life. Four of clubs. Clubs, clubs, clubs. And I always read clubs as, as being, um, for me, uh, an earth, earth element thing. So, the Four of Clubs, Romance, Society, Harmony, Newly Acquired Prosperity, Tranquility, The Fruits of Labor, and Rest After Strife. So, I don't think we could ask for a better culmination than that for such an amazing reading. You've been through hard times with the devil. You've had to deal with perhaps money collectors and usurers and people like demanding outrageous interest and crazy things happening with you. But you're now in a time which is different, which is of abundance and you can let down your guard because the tower is just worries in your head during the time of Virgo. Your imagination is acting up, but your imagination can be focused to beautiful things and help you. And the universe is acting out of justice for you. Through that justice, you will end up with the Ten of Coins. You will have family in abundance and uh, nurturing around you in your environment. And this will be an excellent time to get in touch with that person, that feminine person in your life who you value so much, who you, who you uh, see eye to eye with, who you can talk heart to heart with. Um, if you are that person, then this is the time to nurture, to, to show your wisdom, to not stand back, to not just be passive or listener, to, to express your beliefs and your opinions about what's going on. That's a positive thing. And to encourage other pe feminine people to do the same um, as a nurturer. And then you will end up with the four of clubs. This is the things that money just can't buy. The culmination of a life well lived with people who love you. Um, this is the reason that people strive so hard for success. So, I wish you all the love, abundance, and blessings in the universe. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Sat Nam. Namaste. Take care, and I'll see you soon. God bless.